What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Calf King Sports. I'm joined by my man Ray. How you doing? We're here, man. We're here, man. But you know, big bo- big British boxing is nearly upon us, man. How you keeping? Yeah, listen, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's go straight into it, though. The Riyadh season comes to Wembley. Anthony Joshua, Daniel Dubois, heavyweight titles on the line. A very good undercard as well. Riyadh season worthy. Talk to me about Daniel Dubois. It feels like something's come out of him. He wants to flip the chair. He wants to go head to head with him at the face off. Talk to him about Daniel Dubois going as the champion as well. What can we expect from him? What's the word I'm looking for? I know pretend confidence when I see it. I know David, like his team's gassed him up and I feel kind of bad for him because it's like the bravado that he has. I don't get me wrong, I believe he's confident, but there's like a persona that he's putting on now, now that he's champion, which I like, but at the same time, is like, don't let your boys get in trouble for the punishment you have to face. Because you can be confident and still not be this brash guy that he's trying to come off as. And I just feel like with the boy, it's just like, we know you're not that. And these oh. fickle these fickle fans, they'll love you now whilst you're entertaining for them. And as soon as you lose, oh, you weren't that good anyway. And then they're going to drop him out a la Frank Bruno. Because, I listen, even though I was young, but I still remember looking back how everyone loved Frank Bruno when he was the entertainment and, you know, he's the quirky guy, <laughs> all that laugh and everything. And then when Lennox Lewis came in just business, and, you know, my, my head where you go, Lennox just came in there, handled what he needed to handle, and then he left. And then Frank Bruno is like, they just dropped him out. And I just, so, I just see history repeating itself with Dubois. See, I the only thing I'd say is, this is not, I'm not going to say similar to AJ because I don't believe it's that. But I think since he's had the title, he's probably looked and thought, let me elevate myself. Let me bring a bit of a personality to it. And maybe this is that type of Dubois that we'll be missing. Like, we may see a different version. Plus, at it's the end of the day, like, he's going in as the champion. But 99 out of 100 people are showing him disrespect, saying, yeah, AJ's going to knock you out in the fifth round, the fourth round. If he gets to the later rounds, he's done well. It's almost like saying, oh, I might be the champion, but I've got no shot. And he's probably feeling disrespected by it, to be fair. Oh, for sure. He's giving back. He's showing that way. You can't push me around the way people think you can push me around. I think, but do you know what's funny? I feel like the energy he tried to give to AJ wasn't from AJ. Because AJ, from what I've seen has been respectful to him. From what I've seen, and I get it as well, I'm not slating Daniel Dubois for this. How I see it is more like, you lot all doubted me, and then now I'm in AJ's face. AJ is the one that's going to have to face the raffle. All you lot saying this stuff on me, but then AJ is kind of like a thing of, I'm going to trash talk you, but if you try to speak to me with that energy, like we're going to have a problem. And yeah, AJ just obviously came with that energy of like, yo, don't try it with me. And I feel like AJ is also a spot where, you know, you're older, you tolerate less, and he's done being the poster boy. So now he's just like, no, all them times that people have pissed me off and I've had to, you know, play nice to appease the public. I don't have to appease you no more. Don't piss me off or we're going to have a problem. And I just feel like AJ is just at a point where it's like, yeah, he's just, he's ready to go. He's also got a point to prove where... You know, he's not got long left, realistic. He hasn't got long left, but I also think is like after the Usyk fights, now that Usyk's become world undisputed champion, the loss, even though he would rather not have it this way, the loss has aged better for him because it's kind of just like you lot tried to wrap me off for losing to Usyk's fights, but you just see now. He's the truth. Been see until. No, 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 no. Until he he became undisputed. Who became undisputed? That's fine. That's fine. But we Who will became see undisputed. We will see in December. However, man, listen, that man got saved by the ref. I mean, hey, listen, that, 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 that man gone. should not be sitting here undisputed because Daniel Dubois was robbed because he heard that. Man oh, and they gave it a low it, blow. Man, but that's my it. next point. That was my next point. I don't think over the two fights, personally, EJ mm-hmm. hurt. Uh, Usyk as much as Dubois hurt uh, Usyk in that one shot so I think for me there is there is a chance for Dubois to be able to hurt AJ 
They or saw you... that. They saw that that potential to hurt Usyk from what AJ done to Usyk. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. I can give you that. I can give you that. What does Dubois have in his locker in his to be able to hurt AJ and make this probably less one sided than a lot of people are saying? Before we talk about AJ, I don't think it'll be so one sided, but I think the usefulness of the bar is going to be key. Sometimes there's a recklessness that comes with being youthful that works in your favor. There's a fearlessness that comes with like, I don't have nothing to lose. So even though he does, but that useful mindset of like, I'm just going to go out there and swing because just because like there's an advantage of that when you're younger, because you don't think about the consequences as much. And, Although what I will say is for as youthful as he is, the boy has actually got a lot of experience on the world stage. Mm. But I also think he's still got that youthful <laughs> naivety that can work in your favor where it's just like, I'm going to be more reckless because one, I'm being doubted. And two, yeah. You know, but, even though he's the it. champion, it sounds weird. Even though he's the champion, he's kind of got a lot less to lose than AJ at this present moment in 2024. It's because AJ is aiming for undisputed, whereas mm. Dubois, you know, you've got one of the belts, but it's kind of like you've got times on your side. AJ is obviously doing catch up with Fury and Usyk, whereas like he wants to be in that picture next year. So obviously he's on a timer of like, I've got no time to waste. Give me that belt and then whoever, you know, Wins between Fury and Usyk, I want them right away. AJ is just like this has to happen. I'm bled, bless him for it, and we love him for it. But he does need to be careful because Bois going in there with reckless abandonment, and and he, he's been well, hurt. AJ yeah. has been hurt against someone yeah. who can get a bit reckless. But talking on AJ, come, I think it's been a while since he's been in the ring. Last time, if I'm not Francis wrong, Ngannou. Francis and Garnu. You know, again, I'll say this as much as he looked as impressive as it is a UFC fire. Uh, it it, is, that's revisionist history because people it, weren't talking listen, like that before. No, I, I was, like I was, as he even said, yeah. Tyson Fury, when he fought him, really took his eye off the ball, didn't expect it to be that difficult as it was. The reality is a top tier heavyweight training. Oh, he da- he AJ done, done AJ went the in there and did a mess with it, he, yeah. he went in there and done what he needed to do. So there's not, I'm not using that as the sample size. The only thing I'm seeing with AJ right now is he is letting loose. He's being aggressive, but he's being smart with aggressive. Yeah, and it yeah, seems yeah. like that power is back or the ability to let loose of that power and not be necessarily mm-hmm. afraid to be hit. People have said, look, du- Dubois kind of like one of the people you can hit. You can hit him. He's a target there to be hit. And people are expecting it. Some have said early in the top first six some have said later on AJ's obviously got the power he's got the experience now as we think he's allowed himself to let loose and go back to that knockout type of person with a bit of skill set alongside it so the timing and everything from AJ what do you expect from this particular fight and are you going with the narrative that this should be a slam dunk for him to become a three-time world champion I want to say slam dunk because nothing's given and I think AJ is also fortunate to be in that position where he also understands like as much as people try to make fun of him for the Ruiz fight, I think that it was the biggest blessing of teaching AJ, listen, man, you can have everything in your favor and still lose. So he's on edge. And then I also feel like him, he went through that phase of going through the different coaches, but him ended up with Ben Davidson has just helped him go leaps and bounds of finding that passion again which I feel like a lot of people normally lose at the stage of career that AJ is at, but hit that team up has helped him like, find what he was missing before. Because, yeah, sometimes you need to switch up. And I think it was good that he went through the phases. Obviously, everyone thought that, oh, maybe you should go to America and, you know, not mm. be the big guy on campus no more like you are in England. He tried it. It weren't really doing what he needed to do. And then, yeah, this is now with Ben Davidson, where it's like, it's the right amount of, okay, you're uncomfortable enough, but he's also in the mindset of, I want to improve. And Ben Davidson's got him doing that. And I think it's a beautiful combo. And hopefully, like I said before, this is AJ 3.0. If he puts on a show against Dubois, yeah, I, I'm guarantee you AJ beats Fury. That I know 
However, AJ 3.0 against Usyk will be interesting because I also feel like Usyk is slowing down. I think the best Usyk we've seen fight is Usyk against AJ's second fight because he was he's 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 starting to slow down and you know understandably so he's older he's been boxing for longer and that fury fight as much as he did win fury took some out of him because fury was landing some uppercuts ray won beginning rounds before he ended up getting dominated but that being said if aj manages to get through dubois him first usik two three sorry could be very interesting if AJ loses, how much will he need Tyson Fury to lose in December? Because then you can make that fight. Because I feel like if Tyson beat Usyk in December, I think we're so far away then because Tyson will have the belts and there's no there's no justification for AJ to try to Tyson to say something. Even if, and I can't see it, if the bar was to beat AJ, like, you know the wrestling term, get in the rub. Getting a rub of being a star. Dubois not going to get it because Dubois is not packaged to be a superstar. He doesn't package to be a good boxer. AJ is still the money fight for Fury no matter what. Mm. Even if AJ loses. Obviously, it depends on the fashion which he loses. But even if AJ was to lose, that's still the money fight for Fury and he knows it. And let me tell you something. Fury will probably be more happy. As crazy as it sounds, if Fury was to lose to Usyk again... He'll probably be at more at peace with it knowing the AJ fight is still there. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. The AJ fight, like I don't think it's 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 like apologies to the people that's not wrestling fans, but it is what it is. You know when like I think it was two WrestleMania ago and then John Cena told Austin Fury, even if you beat me, it's not gonna do nothing. It don't matter. Yeah. That is exactly how I see AJ with the bois. Bear in mind, I always say this, AJ was groomed to be a superstar. You have to be groomed. Be, being great at sport is one thing. Being groomed to be a superstar is a whole other thing. Hence why you see, I always give AJ credit for how he carried himself when he had the belts because that is not easy. Getting the belts is hard. Maintaining and retaining your belts whilst being a star is even harder. And I feel like AJ never got enough credit for like how he carried himself whilst maintaining and retaining. I'm going to say this. I'm going to just tweet what you said. I think retaining or maintaining your belts is somewhat straight, not straightforward. Here we are. Here we are. But having the belt, retaining, but then elevating yourself to that superstar level, that's the bit for me that yes, we, we can have boxing guys who have had about three to four to five defenses, but they're not superstars. And no one cares, yeah. I know. That's the bit that I say. I think that's what Age is able to do. Before we just quickly wrap up, His Excellency Turkey, he's talked about how he's dropping the pay-per-view prices. I believe this has dropped down as well. £20, yeah. £20. Going forward, the event itself, we've got the return of Oasis to a point he wants to get them reunited before they do everything. <sighs> I, I'm Listen, people say it's about them. It might not be our music, but I'll be honest with you. I'll be singing. I'll be there. I'm just, I'm just, it's not even that. I've just had enough of the music at these boxing events. So that, that's the whole occasion. That's the we had season occasion. But I just want to talk about the promos quickly. We said about Eddie, he's he's 0 1 4, I believe, or 0 1 5 now. Is this going to be his first win for you against Frank Borry? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and look, to be fair, that match room first. Queensbury card. Ray Ford was a pick and fight. Ray Ford lost that fight for himself. I'm sorry, is what it is. Looking back, Hamza Shiraz was always going to win that. Yeah. Wild I already told you was done, done out here. What's the other fights? Uh, Winnie. Greg Richards, that hurt me to this day. Let's not talk about that. And then there's one more fight. Uh, Dubois hurt me. Dubois. I don't know. Yeah, no, not even that. Eddie shouldn't have co-signed Hergovic. I don't understand why he co-signed him. You should have, you should have said... Who, he who's the other heavyweight you can run with? I don't know, but at that point, yeah, Eddie should have just said to Frank, no, 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 no. You go promote Dubois on a whole nother... And I even think it would have been better for Dubois if they allowed Dubois to headline... But this is what I mean. He's not been built to be a star. 
I'll what, be honest big, with you. What the past never even had a has he had Lando two before? I Joyce with Joyce, no? No. Remember that was that was in lockdown. In some next random <laughs> some next random venue. Remember like, that was that, that the was dunking the same bingo horns. Yeah, that was on the, that was on the same as uh, Yard vs Arthur. The bar has not been like but yeah, it's I don't... a season in Saudi, you want to be on that. But no, I hear it. Uh, it's it's a whole it. other conversation on British boxing that needs to be had regarding this, but that's a whole other conversation. It is. Guys, we're going to just wrap this up. As always, like, share, subscribe. Until next time, peace.